in places that have pictures or praying on top of a garment that also has a picture or any other place that might have pictures around you. So for example, imagine you have a room and there's a picture of your mom or your dad or somebody, you know, in a nice frame and it's hung up against the wall. Are you allowed to pray in that room? Well, the question here is, forget the prayer for a moment. Are you allowed to hang a picture on the wall in the first place? And the answer is no. According to the majority of ulama, the answer is no. Why? Number one, Aisha radiallahu anha, she had a curtain that would separate her home from the neighbor's house behind her. And that curtain had some images and I don't know what the image, the hadith doesn't mention what the images were, but they were pictures of something. And the Prophet ﷺ told her to remove those curtains, change them and put something else there. And she did that. A second narration, Aisha radiallahu anha had some pillows or had some garments on, uh, on a sitting area in the house of the Prophet ﷺ. And the Prophet ﷺ came home one day and he stood by the entrance of his home and his face turned all red. He's really mad because he's so upset of what he's seeing that the, the, that garment that she laid out to sit on, she laid it out there and it also had pictures on it. And she, she said, I understood right away from how red his face became that it was this pictures that was making him upset. So she took the garment and she made pillows out of it and she kept them. Now, this is interesting because that also raises another issue. Are you allowed to have pillows and things that have like little pictures on them? Would you believe it that because of this narration, scholars differ on this issue. Many scholars permitted on this. So if you have a pillow and the pillowcase is like, you know, some Winnie the Pooh or something, right? You're allowed to use those things and you're allowed to sleep on them and you're allowed to have them according to how this narration is understood. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. But going back to praying in these areas, the answer here is you try to avoid this as much as possible. Why? The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told his wife Aisha radiallahu anha, remove these pictures and remove these garments away from me for verily they distract me whilst I'm praying. Now, so if you have these pictures around, then you also want to make sure that these pictures, first of all, if they're hanging up on a wall, you want to remove them simply because in another hadith, the Prophet ﷺ tells us that angels will not enter a home that pictures are hung and displayed for viewing. Angels will not enter this home. And you always want to have angels in your home. The reason why is because angels, part of their duties is that they protect us. They make sure that the livelihood of us in our homes is protected and they will also protect shayateen and jinn depending on the circumstance from entering those homes as well. So you always want the angels to be there and to protect us. So that's important. Next error, um, uh, sorry, the next point in the same error, prayer mats. You ever notice today what people what people have for prayer mats? You know how a lot of people they'll have like the picture of the Kaaba on the prayer mat or they'll have the picture of the Prophet Sallallahu Masjid and all those different things. Well, this is not haram. This is one thing I want to make sure that's clear. But there's a problem with this. Because what happens is that you'll be sitting there and you'll be praying and you'll lose every focus you have in the salah, at least the majority of it. Anybody who prays on this kind of prayer mat, you cannot say that this is not true. It's only natural that this will happen to you. We're human beings.